disassembling the carburetor here just removing these two manifold screws and the o-ring and then the throttle stop and the pilot screw followed by the float bowl in just a second and it's absolutely filthy in there so just removing these two small screws on the diagonal and then you can see how dirty that is in there and the build up on the main jet is terrible that's the o-ring just removing that and you can see that even the float itself is quite dirty and contaminated but I'm going to replace that so here I'm just inspecting the carburetor just to see what kind of condition it's in and here I'm trying to remove the pin and need to get a pair of pliers to remove that as it's stuck in there so then removing the float and the float valve it's a little blurry but it's actually quite a bit of build up on that as well that all cleaned up and besides I've got a new one as part of the kit that came with it so again just taking that out that was completely blocked I left that spring attachment when I threw the carburetor in the ultrasonic cleaner it really didn't need to come apart and I'm replacing all of these jets anyway this is a drain screw or a drain plug at the bottom of the float bowl and remove that and check to the o-ring then there's the the slide valve for the throttle so that's my ultrasonic cleaner I got that off eBay and I put all the parts in there with some simple green and then ran that for quite some time to get rid of all those deposits and here it is after cleaning there's the float bowl and just reassembling the float valve and the float as well that's brand new and then inserting the pin and making sure that that float is central on that pin of course and then just checking it for springiness making sure that everything's fine and then starting to reinstall the jet that's all brand new as well apart from the housing and the holder and then the throttle stop and the pilot I'll set those later that's the o-ring going back on again and just pinching it down with my fingernails and then the o-ring for the float bowl and then refitting the float bowl I'll set the jets later on the position of the throttle stop obviously once the bikes running and uh, checking the measurements from the manual but I did record them uh, to begin with. So that's the carburetor reinstalled in the bike. I've set all the jets and the screws and fitted new O-rings and everything looks nice and clean in there as well. So uh, hopefully we'll have a really good chance of a good idle and a good run.